All right, just to sort of break the tension. The Yankees are playing the Mets. It's a real big deal in New York City. They play six games each each summer. Three at the Yankee at the what used to be called Shea Stadium, now City Fields. That's another story, by the way. City Fields is owned by Citibank. You own City Fields because of the fifty billion dollars that free you gave to Citibank, four hundred million of which came off the top and went right to the owners of that stadium. Another argument for another time. They play three games in Yankee Stadium. In, in, the, in City Fields, the Mets win all three. They play three games in Yankee Stadium. The Yankees win two. It's the third game in Yankee Stadium, the sixth game of the series. I get a call from Bill O'Reilly's assistant saying, Judge, Bill would like to take you uh, to the Yankee Met game on Friday night. I scratch my head. Who the heck wants to spend a Friday night with O'Reilly? <laughs> I can't go, but I bet that my radio partner, who's the Fox Sports guy, Brian Kilmeade, would want to go. She said, oh, that's a good idea. I see Kilmeade. I said, hey, Brian, I understand O'Reilly's got an extra ticket to the Yankee Met game. So I hooked them up with each other. O'Reilly and his driver pick up Kilmeade at Fox. They drive up to Yankee Stadium. They have a dinner. They watch the game. Now, in this game, the Mets are winning the whole game. It's the bottom of the night. The Mets are winning 5-4. to four. Bases are loaded. Derek Jeter is up. He hits a routine pop fly into the infield, and the Mets shortstop, a character by the name of Luis Castillo, drops the ball. Two Yankees score, they win, the place goes crazy. I remember that. This phrase, pull a Castillo, enters the parlance of New York, meaning to do the opposite of what you are highly paid to do. This is a Friday night. On, on Monday morning, I see Brian. I said, Brian, you and O'Reilly are Met fans. What happened when Castillo dropped the ball? What did you do? What did O'Reilly say? He said, uh, we weren't there when Castillo dropped the ball. Where were you at this point in New York sports history that everybody was watching? Uh, we were in O'Reilly's car on the way home. I said, okay. So what was the reaction in the car while you were listening to the game on the way back home? We weren't listening to the game. What were they doing, Ryan, making out? What were you listening to in O'Reilly's car on the way home to Long Island when Castillo dropped the ball? Judge promised not to tell anybody. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> we were listening to a rerun of the O'Reilly Factor. Fox's chief sports guy. When and how did you find out that Castillo dropped the ball? When I went out to get newspapers the next morning. Uh, we have a lot of fun at, at Fox. There are two Fox News. There is the Fox News that delivers you the news, and we struggle mightily to deliver it to you so you can form your own opinion. And then there are the rest of us will tell you what we think is going on. I have a very simple job. I am a night watchman. I watch the government under cover of darkness when it wants to steal your property and take your freedom. And I am privileged to go all over the country and have conversations like this and remind people just how dangerous the government can be. Now, all is not lost in the long history of the world. Only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its maximum hour of danger. Ten women from Texas started this organization. This is the generation. Now is the time. This is the defense of liberty that must be waged. Yeah. Shortly before he died, Jefferson had a dire prediction. And the prediction was that in the long run, power would grow and liberty would shrink. He also reminded us of a weapon that would always be ours. It's a very simple one. We know it when the kids and the dogs scream when there's lightning and thunder in the middle of the night. And the weapon is fear. When the people fear the government, there is tyranny. 
when the government fears the people, there is liberty. liberty. God bless you.